All right. Good job. Looks like that's opened things up enough for you to reach the reactor. Come Some other good news. Reactor. I've almost got the teleporter working. Should We've be ready to pull you out whenever you need. There's no going back, Sean. The Institute has to be stopped. And you've decided this for yourself? Or has it been fed to you by the corrupt societies above ground? It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? Tell me then. Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity? It's for the greater good. The Commonwealth deserves to determine its own fate. Spare me. You've spent time up there. You know as well as I that it's doomed. Well, none of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task and ruin humanity's best hope for the future. The only question left then is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? Why would I ever consider helping you? Help me. And I promise I'll protect any survivors to the best of my ability. Very well. The terminal behind me. Enter access code 9003. That will disable some of the synths. Now go. Just leave me. Attention all personnel. Evacuation order issued. Authorization 1YR31. Please proceed to your assigned evacuation point. Thank you for your cooperation. Sean. All our work, laid to waste. There's nothing more to say. Are you in any pain? Yes, of course. But that will end soon enough, won't it? All thanks to you. Son. You've doomed humanity. You know that. There's nothing more to say. Attention all I personnel. wish there was some other way. You've made that impossible. The Commonwealth can have only one fate now. Sean. You've doomed humanity. You know that. There's nothing more to say. Sean, I'm sorry that it's come to this. It's too late to be sorry. Attention all personnel. Evacuation order issued. Authorization 1. one. Attention all personnel. Evacuation order issued. Authorization 1.
get us the hell out of here. Yeah, I would, man. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's kid I want to go with says you. he's the general's son. Authorization. Why did you call me dad? What? You're my father. Why else would I call you that? Please proceed to your assigned evacuation point. Thank you for your Right. Of course I'm your father. Good. For a second, I thought you forgot who I was. Now let's hurry up and get out of here. Really? Do you mean it? What? You don't believe me? No, no, I totally do. What I mean is, thanks. Now let's get out of here. All right, Sturgis. Fire it up. Didn't leave anything behind, did you? All set to get out of here? Absolutely. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. I'm gonna teleport you to the detonation site. Then set it to shoot the kid here back to the castle. Now you press that button extra hard when you get there. See you on the other side. Three, one. Please proceed to your assigned evacuation point. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm ready. Let's get out of here. To see humanity's best hope for the future go up in smoke, just hit that button. over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. Now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. One hell of a bang, wasn't it? So that's it. The Institute is destroyed. It's finally over. You did issue the evacuation order, right? I didn't notice in all the chaos. Yeah. We gave everyone a chance to get out. Good. I thought so. It was just watching that explosion. I just hope as many people as possible got out. I hate that we had to do that. But they left us no choice. It was war. But now, the war against the Institute is over. The way is now clear for the Commonwealth to finally come together and build something good for the future. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows from here on out. Wasn't the Institute the main threat? Definitely. 
I don't want to minimize what we've accomplished here today. The Institute was the most insidious threat we've ever faced. They kept the Commonwealth divided for centuries. But there are plenty of other problems left to deal with. I don't think the Minutemen are going to be out of a job for a long time yet. As much as I might wish it. We deserve to enjoy our victory. But soon enough, it's going to be time to get back to work. Hey, Sean. Dad, I was so worried. I thought I'd never see you again. Is it true? Did you really blow up the Institute? Why would you do that? I know it's hard to understand. Are you okay, Sean? I mean, I'll miss them. But if it means everyone else will be safe, as long as you don't leave me, it'll be okay. You're... you're not gonna leave me, right? Don't worry, kiddo. I'm here for you. Okay. Oh, before I forget, Father, uh, he told me to give this to you. I didn't listen to it, so I don't know what it says. But I think it's important. Desdemona. Well, if it isn't the General of the Minutemen, the Destroyer of the Institute, Liberator of the Synths, my only regret is we couldn't have been there when you did it. Did the Synths make it out okay? Yes. And no. We got the Synths out of the Institute, but the news isn't all good. Hate runs deep in the Commonwealth. A hatred of everything to do with the Institute. A hatred of sense. When people realized what was happening, we mobilized quickly and rescued most of the synths. But there were casualties. They hated synths enough to just murder them? Only a few hated synths enough to murder them while they were defenseless. But a hell of a lot of the Commonwealth despised them enough to let it happen. But most of the synths are safe. For now, at least. Our safe houses are bursting with synths. If you're up for it, we could use your help in smuggling them out of the Commonwealth. But even if you don't, everyone in the railroad owes you a tremendous debt. Analyzing. If you are hearing this, then whatever conflicts you and I have endured are over. I have no reason to believe that you'll honor the request I'm about to make. But I feel compelled to try anyway. This synth, this boy, he deserves more. He has been reprogrammed to believe he is your son. It is my hope that you will take him with you. I would only ask that you give him a chance. A chance to be part of whatever future awaits the Commonwealth. <laughs> 